July 4th in Hidalgo, Texas at the State Farm Arena. The Life in Color concert featuring DJ Steve Aoki. A hot ticket on a hot night. And before it's all said and done, a record near 14,000 fans will fill the lot behind the arena. But as of right now, Sarah is not one of them. Yeah, so I, I tried to get into my email, but it wouldn't let me go in. So I'm like, I ran all the way over here to get to get through. So I picked the online option to go through email, but it's not letting me in. And my phone died. <laughs> I don't know what to do. As technology continues to improve on a daily basis, the question of what to do when it comes to getting first dibs at great seats has become more complex. According to Ticketmaster, computer bots used by scalpers laid claim to 60% of the most wanted tickets for shows and sporting events in recent years. It's a virtual battle that State Farm Arena General Manager Eric Blocky continues to fight. Computer bots that a lot of the scalpers are using now where they go in with the computer and they go in and buy large bulks of tickets which make them, first of all, unavailable to the public, and when they get resold, the public ends up paying more. Ticketmaster utilizes steps to stop the bots. For example, the letters or phrase you're asked to type in prior to purchase, but the bots can adapt to and spread. And these computer bots aren't just here in the Rio Grande Valley. These tickets are being bought in New York, North Carolina, Miami, and then once being resold on the secondary ticket markets. As the virtual war between bots and primary ticket sellers continues, the struggles faced by the online ticket race has many turning to ticket brokers, like James Artismendi of Ticket Zone, who foresees a shift in the industry. Honestly, if you ask me, it, there have been so many uh, situations that people have had on the net that I'm thinking that it may turn the other way around that they say, you know what, I still need somebody to take, for somebody to take care of me and make sure I'm okay when I walk to that venue. Meanwhile, back at State Farm, the buzz is building towards the start of the show and Sarah is still trying to get in. So it's, it's sometimes hard to, hard to get tickets, I guess, huh? For stuff like this? Basically. One thing is apparent, in the world of ticket takers, some get lucky and some get left out. We'll delve deeper into the ticket industry tomorrow night in part two of Ticket Takers.